My whole week was going to bed imagining myself crushing him, running over him, running through him, pounding him into the ground. When UCLA and Southern California tango, Los Angeles is up for grabs. I was watching films of Terry Donahue. He was a defensive tackle. And I remember telling myself that I'm going to kill this guy. So when the game came, the first play of the game, I remember this. He beat me off the ball so fast and ran across my face. No other uh, defense alignment has ever done that to me in my life, before or after, even throughout my NFL career. I came back to the huddle and I said, that's not going to happen again. I'm going to, this time I'm going to crush him. So when we came to the line of scrimmage and the ball was snapped, he did the same damn thing to me two times in a row. And if he made me step back and reconsider this game, what's going to happen. In those first two plays of the game, I, he got, got all my respect uh, that any lineman could ever ask of me. The game that has become the biggest show on the West Coast, the annual heart stopper between UCLA and Southern California. As I think back on those teams, and the reason we were so good during that era was we were very unselfish good guys. We laughed at each other. We were able to not take each other too seriously. I don't think there was a guy that you could take off that football team that, that would not agree with me when I say the only place that we felt normal in the world was standing on a football field on Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. That's the only place that I've ever stood in my life that I felt really normal and certain about me as an individual and that I really belong there. Uh, and uh, I sure hope the kids today that are playing feel the same way.